My dear friends, I want to share a story of a young Muslim man named Sina who was planning to divorce his Christian wife but came to Christ when God performed a miracle through him. Here's the story. He says, a few months ago, my wife became a Christian and started telling me about Jesus. That annoyed me a lot and I argued with her all the time. I thought, I am rich. I don't need God. I don't even need her. I will divorce her and marry another wife. Shortly after, my wife became extremely sick. I took her to many doctors. All said she needed a difficult operation. So we scheduled the operation. Yesterday, as we were getting ready to go to the hospital, I said in my heart, let me try Jesus just one time and ask God to heal my wife. If he heals my wife, then I will believe in him. Can you believe it? He just said in his heart, if you heal my wife, I will come to Christ. Now, listen what Jesus did. He says, I was not even finished with my thought when my wife said, wow, my pain is suddenly gone. I don't know why, but before the surgery, you must ask a doctor to do another ultrasound. In my heart, I knew what had happened. Jesus had healed my wife, but I was too proud to announce it. When we went to the hospital and after another test, the doctor told me there was nothing wrong with my wife and she did not need surgery. At that moment, I just fell on my knees crying. I could not stop my tears. We went home and last night while flipping the channels, I accidentally found your satellite station. Now I am calling to tell you that I am ready to believe in Jesus. What do I need to do to become a Christian? What a great question from a Muslim. This was last week. We led Sina to, to the Lord. And since then, he, he's reading the Bible. And this is what he said later. Jesus is my Lord and my God. I want to be one of his best disciples. And I'm not afraid to die for him. Isn't this just like our God? That's one reason I love Jesus so much. He is so gracious. He is so loving that he appears in visions and dreams to Muslims. He performs miracles even when they pray in their heart asking him. He loves Muslims and we need to pray to receive his heart. And let's pray now. Father, I pray that you will give us his heart. You will give us your heart, Lord God. You love Muslims. We know you don't want to see 1.8 billion Muslims go to hell. And you appear to them. You do your part, Lord God. Enable us to do our part. Give us your passion. Give us your mercy that you have towards the lost souls and Muslims, Lord. I thank you in Jesus' name. And also I want to thank you our partners, those who are standing by us, those who are investing in this ministry. You just have God's heart because you have a heart for nations, for Muslims who don't know him. And by God's grace, thousands are coming to Christ. There are many people like Sina who are searching God and God graciously even performs miracles through their prayers. But one thing, they still need to hear the gospel. And that's my job, and that's your job. Let's work together to bring Sinas to the Lord. Because God is doing His part, and together we will do our part. God bless you.